So what the heck happened to Digiclone? What did Gearbox do? And is it now actually a viable action skill to use? Today we find out. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So the Digiclone received a buff and Jesus people it is now an utter monster. Now I was told by a pal on my discord in which you guys should totally check out if you want to play as to trade, chat, all things borderlands linked in the video description. But yeah I was told about the Digiclone now being a monster and as you guys know I main Zane. But in saying that, the main Zane build I use, my Winter Soldier build, isn't built around the Digiclone at all. And to be honest, I haven't touched Digiclone in a long, long while. Way before Mayhem 2.0. But that is about to change. Because whatever Gearbox did to Digiclone, it is now, and I will say it, kinda OP. Now I have looked back through the details of the hotfixes and the patch notes, but haven't really found any specific details on what was changed. Only this tweet, which you can see on screen now which states, we have released a hotfix for Borderlands 3 that adjusts Maul's Deca Bear skill and Zane's Digiclone ability, so that they scale properly with Mayhem levels. Now if there were other changes made, excuse me for being a noob, but let me know down below in that comments section. Now these changes were applied on June 26th and I apologise it's taken me so long to actually figure this out. So I respect, I built around the Digiclone. But at the same time, I tried to keep most benefits I already had with my previous Winter Soldier build. And what I've created, although far from actually finished due to being behind in terms of items on PC I've actually got, but even still, the damage this thing does is on another level. It's actually to a point of me not having to do anything as a clone does it all for you, especially when facing off against bosses. Now this is a great, great change. I'm glad I'm now able to mix things up and it makes to a much better basis going into creating builds now for Zane. Because I'll be honest, and I think we know this because of the fact that actually buff did your clone. It was whack. Yes, you could use the clone to generate more damage for yourself, but in terms of the clone itself being an efficient means on its own to deal that damage, it was a no goal. Now that completely changes now, because the scaling they added with this hotfix, which I think they may have accidentally left out of the June 25th patch, but let me tell you the changes they made here are on another level. So my Zane mains out there, I thought I'd bring you guys this quick video showcasing what Digiclone is now capable of. And if you guys are interested in seeing my Digiclone build, then just let me know and I will bring it to you guys in a video later or tomorrow. I do need to add a few finishing touches, but as it is right now, it's still an incredible all round Zane build. But at the same time, it works with that clone to optimize what he is capable of damage output wise. So the change to the Digiclone in terms of what I've seen and experienced for myself, it seems like his damage output is just ridiculous. Now I don't think anointments are weapons that obviously if you use the last perk on the Digiclone tree, I don't think the anointments on the weapon he uses because obviously he copies your weapon, I don't think they come into play. But even still, the fact that you can just go take a crap, you can do whatever you want, you can go and make a cup of tea, you can have a drink, you can sit back, put your legs up and watch your Digiclone farm bosses for you basically, it's amazing it really is. On screen now you can see me messing around with a few weapons to see which you're efficient with clone. Some are great, some are incredible, some are not that good. But you'll see a multitude of different weapons being used and this is just by that clone. So yeah, the build I have made here is an all round build. I mean, I'll probably use this now over my Winter Soldier for the foreseeable future because it is that good. I mean, I love the Winter Soldier. I love Sentinel. But at the end of the day, it was always Sentinel. It was always that way. But the things I've added to Digiclone in terms of buffs, it makes it so I do want to mix up and experiment. But yeah, after a couple of hours of messing around, I think I'm quite happy with the build by a few other things I need to add. But it is a great, great action skill now, people. And if you're seeing this for the first time, I'm pretty sure you'll have your own ideas of what can be done here. But yeah, like I said, if you want to see my build, I'll bring it to you later or tomorrow. Just let me know. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.